What's up, YouTube's PZ Espion here. Um, welcome back to my uh, Minecraft channel here. Um, so, main purpose of this video, I wanted to show you guys um, a little something that I figured would be pretty cool to you guys if you're interested in using redstone stuff. Um, me personally, I'm really not that good at redstone. Um, I know a little bit about it. Like, I know how to make, you know, I can improvise it. You know, I can improvise and make some, you know, almost whatever I want, but, you know, I mean, there's, I certainly do have my, you know, my limitations and such, but I can make just, you know, if I want to make something, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty likely that I'll be able to figure out sort of a rough way to make it. That's sort of my level at, that I'm at right now. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a little something here that I figured would be pretty cool. First of all, I want to explain to you the, the, uh, the watermark on the screen right there. Um, this program that I'm using to uh, make this video is actually a program called ScreenFlow. This is a program that I'm really, really interested in getting um, so I can maybe make better videos for this channel. Um, I do actually have Minecraft open here. I will be showing you if something in there. Um, but as you can see, this title screen is going really smoothly. Um, but we'll get it back to that in, in a minute here. I just wanted to show you guys, share with you guys um, something that actually this is a curriculum that I used in school last semester. Um, this thing right here. All right, as you can see, um, it's... You know, completely free. It's available to anyone. Um, it does have a book. But the thing I really wanted to show you guys because of, you know, the fact that, you know, redstone. For those of you who don't know what redstone is, redstone is basically a logic circuit um, thing. So what you can do here, if you look at this right here, they have these um, labs right here. And uh, as you can see, X Logic Circuits, Lab 1 Logic Circuits. It's a really, really basic website. This website was made several years ago, like... I, I think my computer teacher said it was made in the, in the like in the eighties, maybe nineties. I'm not really sure, but basically, this is just a, a little tutorial that you can do. It's got some problems here that you can try out, but you can read over this and you can get a really good grasp as to how you know logic circuits work and how we you know how you can work with them. This right here, what is this? Um, this looks familiar. It's uh. I don't remember what that is, but I know I've used it before. I think that's a adder. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I'm not entirely certain, though. Um, <clears throat> actually, I think that is what that is. I think this is something that I used to add. And you can daisy chain these together and stuff. But let me go ahead and show you um, the program here. I've actually, well, let me see. Uh, missing plugin, whatever. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, let's open up my folder here. I do have actually the, the applet right here downloaded. And as you can see, I'm using a Mac. This is available for Mac, but it's also available for PC. Don't worry. It's just a Java file. It's, it's a jar file, just like Minecraft. Um, but as you can see, here it is. And basically, you can see here we've got AND gates, OR gates, and NOT gates. And you can make AND gates pretty easily. Basically what an AND gate is, is, um, hang on. How do I rotate this? I forgot. Um... Oh, I have to, yeah, I kind of have to rotate it before I drag it in. It's a little tedious to use, but you'll get the hang of it. So like that, basically this is what an AND gate is. This is an input. I'll put this here. All right. And here's the output. And uh, essentially, to connect this together, you just drag like this. And this line right here is basically what redstone dust is. It's just a path, but there's no limit. Like it doesn't have the 15 block range or whatever. It can, it's infinite. But... Basically, if I do power, you know, what an AND gate is, is that, you, you know, in order for the output to be turned on, both of these have to be turned on. You, can, you know, if, if both of them are turned off, it will not be turned on. Um, if one of them is turned on, you know, it doesn't matter which one, it will not be turned on. You have to have both of them turned on. And as you can see, when it's turned on, the uh, wire is red. Um, so that's what that is. And then the OR gate, OR gates are pretty easy to make. Uh, let's go ahead and, is there a clear button? Yeah, there is. Let's go ahead and do an OR gate just to show you what that is. Um, again, let's throw some things here. Just real roughly. Just to show you guys how this works. Oh, looks like we still got the power turned on. But basically what an OR gate is, is, um, you know, one, it, it can be like, you know, if none of them are turned on, then there won't be an output. But if one or both are turned on, then there will be an output. This It's pretty simple. Um, and, you know, you can go in and make your own gates. Like, if I wanted to... I'm not really going to get into it too much, but you can look at... Um, 
you know, you can look at this website here. The uh, lessons here are pretty, uh, pretty good. So hang on, where where'd that go? Come back. Yeah, here we go. Um, so yeah, pretty uh, extensive here. Um, if you want a new, basically this Naki here is essentially just a redstone torch. So I can put this here, here, and here. If I drag this here and there, essentially, if the, if the uh, NOT gate is receiving power, then the NOT gate will not output a signal. But if the NOT gate is is not receiving power, then it will output a signal. See how that works? So that's that. Um, also, something you can do, you can sort of double click on these wires here and sort of bend them out like this. Um, that's pretty cool and all, but one thing that this also does is that each little point here act, has a delay. So it's a little hard to tell. I might, I kind of have to make it, oops, hang on. I think you actually have to hold control to move it or something. How do I move these again? I forgot. Oh no. Actually, I can't, I think you can't move it. I think you have to move it while you're placing it. Like I said, it's pretty, it's kind of primitive um, in terms of the way that it works, but it's a good way to sort of practice. And if you want to Experiment around with uh, redstone, you know, outside of the game. You know, it's a good way to get started. There, you can you can sort of see that there. And actually, I can do this. Slow it down a little bit. There you go. Now you can see that there is a slight delay. So, yeah, I can actually use this to make a clock. Let me see if I can do that. Um, I'll just get rid of this. Hold up, power. Select that. Delete. And then I just have to hook this. Oop. Yeah. Hang on. Why is it not working? What? What the heck? Oh, come on. Stop that. Meanie. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, you get the idea. I could hook this up to itself and make a clock, but for some reason, it's not letting me. I am really angry at it. Why won't, why won't it let me do it? I am so very intrigued. I, I don't know. I, I really just don't know. Um, anyways, that's that. But if you go in here, you know, there's some pretty cool things here. It tells you, like, here's circuits and arithmetic. It shows you binary stuff. It might be good at that idea if you look at how binary works as well so that you can get a good idea as, that, as to how that works. Um, then the second lesson is a little bit more in-depth. It talks about memory um, and stuff. Like here's a memory. This, what is this? Is this a... Oh, this is a memory that you can actually erase. So basically the way that this one works is when you turn this one on, the one that my mouse is on right here, um, you know, you'll turn the memory on. The, this loop right here is the memory. Okay, that's the memory cell, basically. So, yeah, it, and basically when I turn this back off, it'll actually remember that it was turned on, and this will stay turned on. But to clear the memory, I just click this one, and that will do that. It, you, just, you need to actually look over this yourself if you're wanting to understand more about what I'm talking about. But here, it shows you how to make RAM. I remember when I had when this was assigned to us in that class, I hated this assignment. I don't know why. I, I just, I just kind of like, ugh, I hate this. Um, but yeah, it shows you how to make random access memory, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pull up Minecraft here. Let me go ahead and close out of that. And let me make this bigger. I'm going to show you guys... This here is an adventure map that I was really seriously considering releasing, but I don't know. Let me just pop out of here. Yay. Welcome to the Diamond Realm. Uh, over here, yeah, this right here, this big room right here, um, as you can see, has a little bit of redstone going on. This is actually an archery room. So basically the way that this works is that in here, let me go ahead and repair what I... Let me actually set this to... Uh, power saver, so there's less frame rate drops right there. Because um, I'm recording, it's gonna it's gonna look a lot smoother to you guys. It's basically the way that this works. For those of you who don't know, when you shoot an arrow, where's the bow and arrow here? When you shoot an arrow, like this. Come on, <laughs> I have such bad aim. When you shoot an arrow, well, basically when you shoot an arrow, they'll despawn after one minute. So yeah, that's one problem with it. Come on. Let's go down a little bit more. There we go. So as you can see, I hit that. But if I go over here and I collect the arrows, yeah, it stays on. See that? So let me just go ahead and hit the rest of these. And what will happen is that it'll activate a command block. Once all of them have been activated, the command block will get activated. That'll just teleport me to another room. 
because I was too lazy to work on making like a piston door or something. And then I can go in here and continue. And yeah, so let's break out of this. And I'll show you how that all works. Come on. Can I not do pick block with a... Wow, that was weird. Um, so I'll show you how all that worked. Hang on, where are we, where are we at? Is it over here? I think it's over here. Okay, so let me fly down over here. So the way that this circuit works here is... Um, what we have here... These are actually memory latches. You know, that second chapter in that um, curriculum I was just now showing you. It tells you how to work with memory. This is an RS memory latch, I think. RS Nord memory latch. One of, it's a really weird name. But essentially, it remembers... If it's been turned on, it will remember that it's been turned on. As you can see, it's pretty simple to set it one up. That's literally the circuit right there. Um, that way, so that way when you hit the thing, you know, when you actually shoot the button with the arrow, after one minute when the button, de when the uh, arrow despawns, you know, it'll actually still remember that you shot it. So that way you don't have to fuss around with like, oh man, I, I, it, ah, and you're like getting frustrated with everything. And what this essentially is, this is a five-way AND gate. So we have this out, we have this right here, which leads down to this input right there, and then we have another uh, little output right here that leads into this input. It's, it might look a little confusing, but it's essentially a um, five-way AND gate. And once you can really figure out how like logic circuits and such like that work, um, you probably be able to improvise one of these on your own. Uh, basically, what an AND gate is, I'll show you that real quickly. It's um, the way that you would build one is like, I think I can just do it this way. Like you have an output here and you have a, or an input here and an input here. And dink, dink. Let's see. Dink, dink. And, um, no, then what'll happen is that this will go, wait, I have to remember how this works. Um, no, wait, what'll happen then is I think this has to happen. This, yeah, this. Like that, like that. You have two torches here. And then, yeah, this is how this works. And then, bam. No, hold up. You have to have it this way. One ahead. And there we go. And I think, nope, you have to have it one more, I think. This is actually, I think this is actually a different design than the one that I used. There you go, so that, that one's off. And uh, if I go ahead and I put a switch. Again, this is an AND gate. I think this is an AND gate, at least. Let me br put a piston over here so you can see visually what is happening. Oh, let me, oh, gah, blast. Erg, no, come on, wow, that was a lag spike. Um, where did the piston go? Good grief. This is going absolutely great. Here, I'll do that and that. All right, so the way this works is turn that one on. This one's still off, so the piston doesn't retract. Same thing goes for this one, all right? But when both of them are turned on, Piston goes up. That's an AND gate in Minecraft. And you can probably tell how it works. See, what's happening is that, the, you know, when this one's turned on, or turned off, we've got one torch that's actually, you know, this tor torch did get turned off, obviously. But as you can see, this line is still being powered, which is still powering this one. Alright? Does that make sense? I hope so. Because um, I'm not really good at explaining these things. And again, if I do it that way, you know, same thing. This one did get turned off, but we still got this one turned on. And when they're obviously when they're both turned off, then both the torches are on, which is just powering this one still. They both need to be turned off so that way this one loses power. You know, so that way this line loses power, so that way this torch can get powered. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm not that good at explaining stuff like this very uh, anymore. But anyways, that's it. Just a really quick video that I thought I would show you. This uh, I think I might have actually closed it. The curriculum. There's going to be a link to it in the description. Um, <clears throat> So go ahead and check it out if you're interested in getting a little bit better at Redstone. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, and adios. What was it? Command-Shift-2.